Understanding Invalid Address, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase you might encounter in English, invalid address. Whether you're filling out forms online or dealing with mail, this phrase can pop up, and it's important to understand what it means and how to respond to it. Invalid address refers to an address that is incorrect, incomplete, or does not exist. It's often used in contexts where precise location information is crucial, like shipping, billing, or registering for an account. When an address is labeled as invalid, it means that something about it doesn't match the standard format or database records. 1. Typographical errors simple mistakes like misspelling a street name or typing the wrong number. 2. Incomplete information. Missing parts of the address, like the zip code or apartment number. 3. Outdated information. Addresses that no longer exist or have changed due to new developments or administrative changes. 4. Formatting issues. Every country has its format for addresses. Failure to follow this can lead to an invalid address error. Double check for mistakes. Always review what you've typed. Use official address lookup tools. Many postal services offer tools to check the correct format of an address. Update your records regularly. Ensure that you're using the most recent and accurate address information. Follow the standard format. Be aware of the address format required in the country you're sending to or receiving from. An invalid address can lead to several issues. Delayed deliveries, packages or mail might be returned or delayed. Billing problems, incorrect billing addresses can cause issues with payment processing. Verification issues, many online services require a valid address for account verification. Understanding the term, invalid address, and how to deal with it is crucial for smooth personal and professional communication in English. Remember, paying attention to detail can save you from the hassle of dealing with address-related issues. We hope this video helps you navigate these situations more confidently. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.